Hey, what's up, guys? It's Teeter here. Arkansas pulled off a huge win against Mississippi State this weekend. It was an insane game. Arkansas fans were super excited. They went crazy, as you're about to see in this video. One of my favorite ones I've ever recorded, especially on Dixon Street. Um, first off, if everyone could leave a like, subscribe, comment on this video. I know it sounds cliche, but it really helps push into the algorithm for us and helps us out. And also, a huge shout out to our sponsor, The Avenue Apartments. You're venturing into Razorback territory. You want to live somewhere that is close to Dixon Street and the University of Arkansas. The Avenue is the way to go. A bustling hub of work and play, residents can achieve academic success with their all-inclusive living and exclusive amenities, including high-speed Wi-Fi, a communal cyber lounge, and a computer center with private study rooms. You'll find exactly what you're looking for at the Avenue. They also have a pool, parking garage, so much more. It's really a great place to stay if you're a student at the University of Arkansas. And like I said, it's super close to Dixon, so can never go wrong with that. But let's get into this video. Super excited for y'all to see it. Go Hawks. Everybody said as soon as we hired Sam Pittman, you know, we all hired the scum of the earth. And then Mike Leach, they thought he was the world. Well, you know what? That's 2-0 and against Mike Leach. Yeah. Okay, it was 31-28. Good job. But that is the only thing I know. Mississippi State could get a fucking kicker. I think that's a Mississippi State win all day. So Mike Leach said after the game, open tryouts for any kicker. Yeah. What are yeah. your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that, I mean, I agree, man. We need a new kicker. Uh, I've actually got a couple buddies who play soccer who are actually trying out this week. It's going to be a great opportunity. We'll drink some beers on the field. Uh, I don't watch the game. I'm foreign. I don't like football. I don't understand. She I does. Did, I didn't watch it. It was free. So she can tell you the insights. I, I was really frustrated. So walked out of the game, uh, very blackout, saw a Mississippi State fan. I accidentally threw up on him. You know what? I didn't really give a damn at the time, but looking back, we won, though. We still won. Hello. Oh, uh, we're just skating around Dixon, just trying to find something to do. All right. Oh, this man, this man right here, he is the best man among men. All of them, all of them. This man, he knows everything, everything, everything on Twitter, on everything. 14 months to what? To get some cigarettes, bro, and they're about to close. Well, let me get you a quick interview. Did you watch the game today? Hell yeah! The game was pretty fucking good, bro. They gave me a heart attack at the end, but KJ is a motherfucking beast, bro, with a long fucking dick, bro. And he went through that bitch hard, you heard me? How you feeling about that game today? What game? The Arkansas game. I didn't watch the Arkansas game. I played my own game. We got our ass whooped. <laughs> what was his reaction to you throwing up on him? Uh, he wasn't happy, if I'm being honest. Wasn't too happy, but hey, I was rolling deep, and he couldn't do shit, so. I love him. I love, we all love him, man. You know what I'm saying? We all do, but he doesn't He doesn't want to go to Fido. Okay. Whatever. It's cool. Honestly, no hate. Listen to this man. Listen to him. On Twitter, he has the best takes of all time in entire history of the Arkansas football team. One more. One more. Let's go! Sam Pittman is the reason that Arkansas is winning right now. Sam Pittman is the reason that we're going to be winning the national championship here pretty soon. What are your thoughts on Arkansas fans? Arkansas fans, man, I tell you what, man, they're in different breed. I think y'all are doing this cocaine or some shit, man. Y'all are fucking weird. Arkansas Razorbacks. Woo! What were your thoughts on the game today? What are you today? talking about? Awesome. Incredible. Life changing. Hogs by motherfucking 90. Jefferson did his thing. Them boys, they did their thing. They came through, they pulled through in a major way. And you know, we're going to celebrate for them tonight. How are you going to celebrate? Man, we just going to turn up, man. It's Woo Pig Suey all night long, you know. I got my Razor Big Red on tonight. So, you know, it's, it's going down. Sam Pittman is legitimate coach. Chad Morris is the worst coach in the history of Power Five football. Period. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, You deserve it. You do. You do. You know you do. We're not losing the rest of the season. Well, maybe Bama. But maybe Bama. I'll, I'll give it to him. But Hogs, incredible performance today. You know, two minute run. We fucking did it. We went out there. We crushed that shit. And you know what? I'm a Hog baby through and through. That's all I have to say. One more question real quick. What's up? What are your thoughts on SEC officials? Uh, Fuck them. Uh, That's what I got to say. Hey, here's one, here's two. Fuck you. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> SEC officials, fuck those motherfuckers. They're blind as fuck. Hey, I think them rest was on some bullshit. But, hey, I tell y'all what. That was a hell of a game at the end. That was fun. The worst coach in the history of Power 5 football 
ever. I'm not. I go to. I go to Missouri Southern State. They fucking trash as fuck. If you want to get fucked up, just go to Grubs and get the hog ball shot for three dollars. I've been following football for 50 years. He sucked more than anybody ever has sucked. So. Sam Pimmon doesn't suck. So how about those Red hogs, Red though? Red how about those they damn just got hogs? They just got engaged. TikTok videos. He got engaged. Well, congrats. Look at that congrats thing. Congrats on the engagement, though. It's massive. And it costs massive a lot of money. Rocks. Something that Mississippi Put fans can afford. But I stuck my dick in my potatoes. How'd that feel? Soft and it. soft and warm. Harbor Freight, Home Depot. Love you guys. I'll oh, go ahead. Sorry, I cut you off. Are you all right? Yeah. No, well, not really, but yeah, we're good. I'm just gonna say something. Okay. Do you just keep it down? Were they garlic? No, butter only. But it burned. No, no it, it, it burned after I after I pissed. Well, that's because you had chlamydia. No, uh, herpes. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> How'd you get the herpes? My ex-girlfriend. I just got to Dixon and we're already Ubering home, so that <laughs> answers your question. <laughs> I'm not sure it does. Why are, why are we Ubering home already? Well, we had this plan of making um, spaghetti. So we're going home to make spaghetti and watching the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader show. So that sounds better than waiting in line. So what are your thoughts on your ex-girlfriend? What? Like, if you commit her herpes, what are your thoughts on her? Fuck her. My roommate, he got his fake taking a piano bar by the cops. And hell, I was right behind him in line. I was shaking in my damn boots. <laughs> so... I was like, fuck it, I'm leaving. And the cops were following me. I was like, dude, fuck this. I'm leaving. They were like, come here, come here, come here. So I took off fucking running down this motherfucker. Hey, you dipshit. What's yes. your favorite part about Dixon tonight? Hanging out with the hood. You guys. Yeah. You guys. Well, you heard it live here tonight, right here on Dixon, coming to you live. It's all about chlamydia and whatever else we talk about tonight. Right, right fucking here. The source of Twitter. If you don't like him, fuck you. Thank you. Dude. <laughs> Appreciate, you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.